What's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Ashton. We're coming back to you to make another video. Today we are talking about the Canon 100mm Macro. Yes, and how it performs on the Canon EOS R. This is the lens for those of you curious. Uh, not too, too big. That's with the adapter on there as well for the uh, EF to RF mount. Uh, I'm super stoked. I'm mainly going to be using the lens as a portrait lens because your boy don't want to fork up the money on the uh, 5112 or the 8512 because lots of monies will be spent on that lens. So, in the meantime, uh, we are going to see how the 100mm macro does for uh, some portrait photos, which doesn't seem like a uh, likely lens, right? But if you guys are into the portrait scene, you have probably seen some people taking portraits with 100 millimeters or above. Um, that is honestly going to be the more natural look of a human face. So, yeah, to get zero distortion in the most real look, I mean, you kind of want to be shooting anywhere between a 70 to a 200. I mean, that's going to give you the most realistic look. Uh, people's faces are going to appear the most realistic as they do in real life. So yeah, guys, I'm super stoked to see how this lens goes, uh, see how it performs on the EOS R, see how the eye tracking does, see how the focus keeps up. It does have the USM motors in it, so it should be pretty quick. From my experience with other Canon lenses on the R, uh, if they have USM modem motors, uh, sorry, typically they're pretty quick. So I'm actually super stoked to see how this goes. Yeah, guys, uh, I'll catch you outside. We're going to go do some shooting, and let's see the uh, overall opinions of this. It shouldn't be too long of a video today, so uh, make sure you stay tuned. Let's see what we're thinking. <gasps> Alright guys, so I know I'd said I'd catch you outside, but I lied. Uh, just to give a little backstory, I'm back from uh, Pigeon Forge. Me and Sage took a little trip uh, for my birthday. That was what I wanted to do. Uh, on that trip though, I took the Canon 100mm macro with me, uh, as well as the 15-35 to RF. Uh, and overall, between the two, I'd say I had a great mix uh, for lenses and for focal lengths. It was phenomenal. Uh, being able to go from a 15 to a 35 for my wide angles was great and then using that 100 mil to actually take some landscapes of some mountains out in the distance uh, was a very good idea actually as well as like some macro shots of the snow uh, it, everything looked very great I've been very happy with how uh, the, the the pictures the videos how everything's turning out uh, at an f2.8 on the low end uh, everything is nice and in focus as far as like your portraits because the eye autofocus on the EOS R just keeps it locked on your eye and then it bokeh's back from there. Uh, and at a hundred millimeter on a full frame sensor, you really get some nice compression on that. So your background is nice and creamy, nice and bokeh-licious uh, per se. Not too big of a guy actually with the, uh, with the adapter on there, so it's not, not too bad. Um, as far as performance though, the, the USM motors, I mean this is the thing with every EF uh, lens that I've used, they make noise. Uh, I don't hear my RF glass at all, it's just silent. Um, as far as on the EF though, you do hear that little tick 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 tick, which is not, not a deal breaker per se, uh, just it's kind of annoying, but whatever. We'll live, we'll live guys, we'll live, it's okay. As far as uh, the overall like color repro reproduction, I guess we'll call it. I don't know color uh, pertaining properties. I don't know whatever you want to say. Uh, the the colors look great. Is what's coming out of the lens like straight out of camera. Everything's looking really nice, real dreamy. Uh, I'm gonna throw up a couple pictures right now uh, so that we can kind of look at them, see what we think. Uh, Overall though, as we're going through here, they look nice and sharp, uh, the colors, like I'm saying, everything just looks great, as you would expect from a Canon lens, um, it's normal Canon, like, like you would expect, uh, 
The way it performed on that R though was amazing. The autofocus had zero issues. Uh, it's literally performing like RF glass. Canon did a really good job on that adapter, so good job guys. Uh, that's a thumbs up. Uh, as far as uh, just overall performance though, the, the lens is great guys. If you need something that uh, will shoot like uh, your portraits, like say your 85mm portraits, uh, but you don't want to go buy an 85 because it's just kind of one purpose, this is a great opportunity uh, to get a little dual purpose lens uh, that also does phenomenal portraits as well as uh, phenomenal macro shots. And you can even take some landscapes with it as you guys just saw. Those look phenomenal. Taking pictures on the mountains, taking pictures of mountains with that 100 mil looks freaking great, guys. Uh, I absolutely love it. I've been really, really just impressed uh, with this EF glass. Uh, I've never used an EF lens really on my uh, EOS R besides just demoing uh, to see how it works. Uh, overall, though, I've been really happy, and I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it in the lineup. If you uh, haven't, on a side note. If you haven't already gone and watched my AirPods Pro video and entered that giveaway, you should because that uh, giveaway is going to actually end on January 1st of 2020, so we're going to give them away to kick off the new year. I originally said I was going to do it on my birthday, but we hadn't quite hit the number I wanted to hit as far as likes and comments, so giving it a little bit longer. Uh, regardless though, I am going to do the giveaway on January 1st of 2020, so uh, make sure you stay tuned to the videos. Go ahead and hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. That way you can stay tuned for when I post a video uh, as well. Hit that little bell so you get a notification uh, about it, just to make sure you don't miss it. Because uh, yeah guys, I've been uh, loving making these videos. I love the support. We're at 171 subscribers. Literally in a month, we've gained 100 subscribers, so good job, guys. Uh, let's keep up that energy. Let's keep it going. Uh, yeah, that'll be all for today. I think uh, I'll end it on this note. So, yeah, guys, catch you in the next video. <gasps>